of trying to kill three people is at the top of Detroit's most wanted list tonight. 7 Action News reporter Anne Marie LaFlame tells us federal marshals want to find him before he has a chance to finish the job. Police say Travis Nelson stalked out his ex-girlfriend with every intention of killing her. But that's certainly not his first run in with the law with a long criminal history and connections to the West Side. The marshals need your help finding the man at the top of their most wanted list. Nelson's whole criminal history uh, revolves around stolen property and narcotics, and he just stepped it up another level. The marshals have been hunting for Travis Nelson since May of 2016, just 17 days after he was released from prison. Nelson's seen um, driving up and down his ex-girlfriend's neighborhood. Police say Nelson stalked his ex and two men in a van in front of a West Side home here on Mendota, then pulled out his AK-47. Unloads on him, shoots about 10 to 12 shots. Two of the people got hit, seriously hit, and the female got took shrap metal. So all three were hit in this car. Police say Nelson left them for dead, landing him at the top of the U.S. Marshal's most wanted list. One of the rounds struck one victim, gazed his neck. I mean, he was trying to kill these people, and he didn't finish his job. So we're worried what's happening next. Take a good look at 28-year-old Travis Nelson. He's 6'3", 170 pounds with a large, distinct scar on the right side of his face. He's from Detroit's west side and should be considered armed and dangerous. Nelson's a career guy from Detroit. He's in the neighborhood somewhere. We just need to find him. Now, there is a reward for any information leading to Travis Nelson's arrest. You can call the U.S. Marshals anytime at 313-234-5656. And remember, you can remain anonymous. I'm Anne-Marie LaFlame, 7 Action News.